<laughs> as we mentioned, Fournier, what are the chances that he be, goes back to being a model for citizen and, you know, just sits there in purgatory while this team kind of waits to use his contract for the deal they want? Or is there a chance where this thing blows up and he's like, you know, send me home and they've got to work out some sort of dissolution? I'm going to make a prediction that could completely blow up in my face and mm. be 100% wrong. I think the whole thing with Fournier is going to end up being fine. Mm. He's such a popular teammate. Like, everybody there really likes him. Mm. He's such a popular guy. I just, even last year at the end of the year, when he kind of, as soon as the Miami, they lose the Miami series, he kind of lets all his true feelings out yeah. to the media, right? And uh, I was standing right there, and he's he's like, you know, this was a frustrating year. I mentioned that his season ended, their season ended that night. He was like, well, my season ended months ago. <laughs> <laughs> Look, man, French people are extremely honest. Yeah. yeah I, I yeah. love all of the most honest players I've ever covered. They're like all European. <laughs> like not just French. Like yeah. it's just European thing. They're yeah. just so honest, yeah. you know? Uh and I think the reason he was saying all that stuff was because he was like, I'm gone. It's fine. Like, this isn't gonna set anyone. I'm gonna be on another team next year. It's fine. Yeah. And then he gets frustrated over the summer when he's like, damn. And I understand why he got frustrated. I don't think the way that he said the things he said and the specific things he said were good at all. Mm. They were a bad look. But I understand why he'd be frustrated. Like, it's not like he's old and he's not going to have a good free agency next summer if he just plays through the whole year with right, the Knicks or right. has it being bought out or something like he's, he's going to get a minimum or something, you know? So I understand why there's the frustration and he's a really competitive dude and he wants to play. However, he also said after that Miami series, basically, I forget the exact quote. I, I, I think he said, we we're like, if you were feeling this way, you know, everyone talked about what a model citizen you were like, how are you showing up like that? He was like, what am I going to do? Bitch and mom. Yeah. Like, What's that going to do for me? I feel like that's more his character. And then he kind of bitched and moaned throughout the throughout the offseason yeah, like multiple yeah, times. Multiple right? times, yeah. And I think that's just him being really honest about it. What he also hasn't been historically. He wasn't this way in Orlando. He wasn't this way in Boston. And he wasn't this way with the Knicks. What he hasn't been is a jerk to his teammates. Mm. He's a well-liked teammate everywhere he goes. Hmm. And I don't, I just don't think he's the type of person who's going to come in and, and take it out on his teammates. And I think his teammates might be like, yeah, I get it. I get why you said that stuff. Now, I don't know if Tibbs loved that stuff. Yeah. I don't think Tibbs. Didn't seem so. <laughs> I don't think Tibbs loved it at all. But I'll tell you one thing about Tibbs. Tibbs doesn't care who you are, what you do. If you are Mother Teresa or you are, I don't know, who's Ted Bundy. Like if, 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 if you guard and you shoot well, he's giving you minutes, you know, like that's all he cares about. Those are his morals. And uh, Evan comes in and he works, which everybody said he did last year. Mm -hmm. I don't think it'll be a problem with Tibbs. I don't think, you know, Evan's going to be Tibbs' best man at his wedding. But I don't think it's going to be, like, a problem with yeah. Tibbs. I, I would just be surprised if this guy who was just got along so well with everybody in their locker room just all of a sudden showed up and, and didn't. Just totally changed his character because mm. he was so unhappy. It just doesn't – I don't know. I just don't – I've been confused by the whole summer, to be honest, mm. but I just don't see it. But maybe I'm wrong. Like, maybe he's just so honest that he's yeah. like, I'm just not Getting dealing with this. Here. Here. I'm not doing it I'm again. On all of you, I'm yeah. making you all yeah. miserable, you know, but I just don't, I don't, I don't, I don't see that from him. I just, I just don't. Yeah. 
Yeah, I mean, I, I don't either, but you just never know in the NBA, right? We, we've seen it time and Hold time on. again. <laughs> Expect the unexpected, but hopefully it's, it's something that the, uh, that the Knicks can maintain.